Yo, what's up guys? How's everyone doing? Guys, this week I'm going to be showing you guys how to mix and master your beats in Apple Studio. A really simple tutorial and I've done this beat, check it out. Very cool, quick beat that I made. I used a free synth for this. You guys can get the synth in more description. Lucid FM synth, I showed you guys last week. Okay, it's on the beat. Now, guys, I've used a very simple mixing and mastering technique that you guys can use for all your beats. So I'm going to be showing you that in a second. Just before I do, guys, make sure you go and grab this FM synth. I used the FM synth to create this whole beat, as you guys can see, this melody here was done using a free synth. Wow, amazing, right? So you guys can go and grab the Lucid Synth from Producer Buzz. It's free to download. Comes with eight 300 and plus kind of presets that you guys can use for your beats. Free to use, and you can sell your beats and make profit with them. Uh, apart from me talking, we have got another vocal preset coming out on Thursday, guys. Let's go and let me show you how to mix and master within Apple Studio. You will be surprised, we will be removing the limiter from the master and replacing it with something else, but it's going to make the mix 10 times better. And I've been using this technique, well actually just started using this technique and I think like, wow, like I need to go back and remaster all my beats using this technique. I'm going to show it to you right now. Exclusive stuff here from producer buzz make sure you hit the like make sure you subscribe and let me show you the trick of the trade Trick of the trade <laughs> Yo guys gonna put my ray-bans on for this one Okay, so this is a super, super cool tutorial here on how to mix inside FL Studio without messing up um, the vocal quality. So let me just show you on how we've done this. So here, basically, if we listen to the beat without the maximus that I used and put the limiter on, um, actually, no, let's listen to it first like this and see how it sounds. guys can see it's got that really cool sound that's what we want now note how it's very well mixed but it doesn't have much muddiness in it if we put the fruity limiter on instead of the maximus check this out So what did we do? Okay, guys, to mix and master a more better way and get better mixes, a better, clearer mix, okay, and you will hear it straight away as soon as you do it, all you're going to do is turn off the fruity limiter on your main master. So as you guys can see, you've got your main master here, and you, you're going to have your fruity limiter at the bottom, right at the bottom. Um, all you're going to do is pop Maximus on there. Just like we did so guys you're gonna go here and open up maximus and you're gonna have low mid and high and this is how you're gonna see it okay and now you can see my live input from the microphone but what you're gonna do on here is you see the low band on here just gonna select it you're gonna go in here and you're gonna just drag in there and you're gonna take it all the way from the top and you're gonna just drag it and you're gonna separate the audio 100% just like that then you're going to go on a mid band and you're going to go the other way, right? You're going to separate the audio to uh, the s s stereo separation, 100% separated, 26, around 30%, just like that. 
and to the high you're gonna go about 40 around 40 percent you can go to up to 50 if you want between 40 and 50 so i'm just gonna stick it at 40 let's say i don't know 39 40 right right there and basically that's going to separate the low so the low is going to be 100 percent merged not untouched going to be merged the mid is going to be separated 31 percent well, the highs is going to be separated 40%. It's going to give us this really cool kind of mixing and mastering preset for everything that we have uh, within the beat. Great for making like hip hop and rap beats. It just gives us the right kind of sound. All you're going to do is click on the bands here and you're going to have the low cut here. What you're going to do is you're going to click in there. And if you look at the hint panel, you're just going to set this to 20 hertz on here, just like that. And then you've got your main three bands. Now you can play around with this. Every beat's going to sound different. But I like to stick to a hip hop and rap and trap kind of ratio that I've got on here, which is the main uh, pre gain on the low is minus 0 1 decibel. On the, on the mid band, we've gone 0. Point, between 0. 0.2 and 0. Well, 0.9. So I'm going to go 0. 0.4. And then on the high band here, I'm just going to stick it on 1.1 decibel, just like that. Really, really cool, as you guys can see. Just like that. And this is what it's going to sound like when you put it on. That's it. That's all there is to it. Now, you guys might not be able to hear the difference. Trust me, I can hear the difference. Sounds 20 times better. Now, when you guys do this, obviously you need to make sure that your kicks don't um, pump up too much. Again, your Maximus is going to do the same thing as the limiter. It's going to limit the audio to be in this kind of frequency. And you've got a better kind of ceiling here and you're controlling the threshold and everything on your overall beat. So it's going to make it sound really, really clearer. And we've done this on another beat. Let's check it out. Let's head over to another beat. So this is another beat that I made and the same technique. Again, I use the same technique on the mixing on the master. So check this out. Without it and with it on. We're going to move to the uh, just up here. guys can see and we're gonna put the Maximus on now Wow the difference so much clearer so much better see that how cleaner is that cello kind of string sound guys again guys I used uh, for this strings and stuff again I used the same um, VST that I did before if you guys you know you want to go and check it out again highly recommend you guys getting this the um, lucid FM believe it or not As you guys can see, really cool sound. You guys, it's pretty cool, you know. So that's what I used. And you guys can go and grab it from Producer Buzz. Free to download. Really will spice up your beats. So many cool sounds in this. And this whole beat was made using it. So check this out. So I still got put the bass in there. I'm going to use like a different plugin for the bass. The bass really sucks on this Lucid FM, not going to lie. Uh, but apart from that, for other instruments and stuff, super dope. So yeah, go ahead and grab it. Again, hope you guys enjoyed my mixing tutorial here. It will make your mixes sound really, really cool. And when you guys listen to it on your monitors, on your studio monitors, you will hear the difference so much cleaner. The kicks will be cleaner. The low, the low ends will sound crispier. Mids will sound better. And the high ends will just be perfect. Again, you can really control those bands. Let me guys know what you guys think. 
Again, this is a mixing tutorial here from Pav, producer Buzz, had my shades on, because why not, just chill out. But guys, make sure you subscribe, hit the like, you know how to do it.